Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and stories about Catherine, Princess of Wales and her royal family. Today, we bring you breaking news. Catherine is the utmost elegance in a ponytail and eye-catching necklace as she re-wore a thigh-high slit in her gown. The Prince and Princess of Wales arrived on the red carpet to attend the royal formal film show at the capital. Her Royal Highness wore an exquisite Roland Moray gown during the star-studded opening of the Journey to Liberation. Catherine defied the cold by wearing a slit that reached her thigh in her costume. The blonde's locks were pulled backwards in an elegant ponytail with thickness at the head to highlight her stunning beauty. She donned the Roland Moray gown that was made for such an impression at the intimate event in May 2012. The context of the Roland Moray gown, Princess Catherine is looking hotter than previously ever witnessed on her. Kate's dressed in an ivory version of the fall 2009 runway look, and despite its long sleeves and nine neckline, perfect for this time of year, the slash to the thigh adds a ton of sexiness and more than just a hint of leg. Catherine's rendition of the attire obviously differs from the initial Lombard gown in several ways. Not the most significant, which is the color hue, a sophisticated milky white. Catherine's gown shoulders, as well as the neckline, differed a bit, but her gown maintained the thigh-high cut requiring cautious entries and departures from vehicles and various sitting postures. It was an unusual departure for gorgeous Catherine when she chose an item of clothing through this famous French creator, who frequently appears in Britain's designers such as Jenny Packham, Amanda Wakeley, as well as Alexander McQueen, but we absolutely agree. Moray is admired for his comprehension and appreciation of the distinctive feminine figure, and it had been a more revived to the pointed cut throughout 2006 via his renowned galaxy dress. Victoria Beckham, Miranda Kerr, Halle Berry, as well as Cameron Diaz are all admirers of his gowns. Catherine's gown is truly vintage, so we're going to have to hit the high street to recreate her red carpet appearance. We adore Catherine, Princess of Wales, not only due to the fact that she's expected to become Queen of England, but also for the reason she is winter-white gorgeous and has impeccable fashion sense. A beautiful dance attire or smart suit can be described as royal or stately. Catherine's costume is called the Lombard and it was influenced by actress Carol Lombard. This style is streamlined, body-hugging and seductively seductive. The decision-making process of the loose hair as well as the smoky eye only contributes to the radiance that Prince George's beautiful mother exudes. Along with the jewellery surrounding her neck, closes up the whole package. Catherine, paired with new items, probably most notably the bold outfit she wore. The Princess of Wales wore the eye-catching accessories from fashion jewellery to brighten up her Roland Moray outfit at an official film screening in London which marked the second occasion she's donned the custom design publicly. Despite the place that was unable to verify it, there was certainly not much uncertainty that the princess was sporting the sparkly bead choker, still available from the Zara stores. The gleaming accessory is made up of three rows of crystal beads embedded in aluminum and connected to one another in a pattern of chainmail. The piece of jewelry cost $35.90 in the United States, although there have been rumors posted on the WKWFB group that the fact that the Boston Zara continues to have a large supply. The princess wore no studs, possibly because she believed they were going to combat against the powerful chain. Catherine also donned heels we weren't aware of before. The above sharp-eyed squad of us believes that the dark suede heels are indeed from Prada, and believe that that to be correct, known by its official title as the suede round toe pump. We additionally observed what looks like the contents of the princess's new purse, a dark colored handbag. Catherine wore her hair in a relaxed ponytail, fastened using a black satin ribbon. Combine this general ensemble alongside an artistically messy hairstyle. If you can recall, Catherine wore this ensemble with a different kind of longer, slightly curlier hair in 2012. Mr. Moray hasn't yet commented or confirmed that the garment is a customized edition of his 2009 design, 
but detailed images in the appropriate light reveal the seeming process of Catherine's dress matching similar to Carla Bruni's. The clothing item incorporates a number of Mr. Murray's signature design characteristics, some as patched stitches and sculpted embellishments around the collar and midsection. Catherine paired the Jimmy Choo vamp shoes which featured on the princess's toes completed with a deep ruby red. Anne of My Small Obsessions, a jewelry expert, guided us. Kate was sporting the Eva Studs by Butte Jewelry that belongs to the vintage design line. These had originally been observed on Catherine in November of 2015 when she wore them coupled with an ivory Jenny Packham gown at St. James's Palace in London for the National Monument and Arboretum campaign benefit. Despite the dazzling gold as well as white colour palette along with the jewellery on Catherine's purse are evocative of an antique bag. The overall design has been modified, meaning that it is definitely a more modern item. The gown was gorgeous, with feminine silhouettes that accentuated Catherine's shape and spoke to her beautiful style, although some believe that the deep jade emerald hue would ultimately make the outfit more attractive. The off-white appears to be greater than Catherine. She sports it regularly and the colour has grown into a concept of a trademark for her at the time. I am unable to avoid thinking that when Catherine had worn her hair up, the more intricate elements of the outfit would be more highlighted. The look appears to call for it. The majority of her admirers adore her appearance. I loved the appearance when the Princess of Wales first donned this Roland Moray gown paired with her Jimmy Choo footwear. Again, I think the dark coloured shoes are too weighty in comparison to the white cream ensemble. Even something seems too unlikely to be correct in my view. Also, the pendant shape, while lovely in its own right, looks inappropriate in place of the vessel's neck. If the gown featured a round or v-neck, it would provide the ideal setting to showcase this jewellery. Another person stated, This appearance has captured my attention. In its prior appearance, I enjoyed but wasn't impressed by the gown, but now I believe it's a home run alongside its particularly intriguing styling with the dark colour accessories, hair up and statement necklace. Despite the debate, I actually liked the soft ponytail style. It was effortlessly elegant and appeared to be effortless. The only thing I didn't like about her is the length of the black string in her hair as perilously close to being scrunchy. If she hadn't, I would have certainly have chosen to cover it with my hair. Thank you for watching today's video. What do you think of her look at this event? Please let us know your thoughts and goodbye for the time.